my dear students i hope you are all very good and i am very happy to meet you through this video i hope you will enjoy this video and learn this lesson effectively come on my dear boys and girls let us get into the lesson this term we have four lessons in history for ninth standard lesson 1 is evolution of humans and society in prehistoric period before starting the lesson i go for one minute reading fine art of forgiveness forgiveness is universally recognized as a fine art it is practiced by the persons who have kind heart it has changed the lifestyles of many criminals it is said that once buddha came across one hardened criminal who was looting and killing even innocent people he wanted to kill buddha the buddha smilingly told him to go cut and bring one leaf from the branch of the nearby tree the criminal took no time to bring one leaf now buddha told him to go and join that leaf to the same branch the criminal expressed his inability to do so this incident made him realize that since he was incapable of creating anything he had no right to destroy anything at the same time he realized that whatever he had been doing so far was a great sin he fell at the feet of buddha and begged his pardon buddha not only forgave him but also blessed him so forgive everything and lead a very good life children a small task for you i read the words slowly you just take down and try to say within 10 to 12 seconds have fun okay children follow the words clearly calculator was used by the calculators to calculate the calculation that was calculating the calculus the calculation calculated by the calculator calculating calculation calculated by the professor calculator calculating calculations don't spoil the fun children come on try i read for you one more time please listen calculator was used by the calculators to calculate the calculation that was calculating the calculus the calculation calculated by the calculator calculating calculation calculated by the professor calculator calculating calculations shall we move into the lesson yeah evolution of humans and society in prehistoric period yes what do you mean by evolution children it is nothing but origination of species from earth developing gradually it is called as evolution what do you mean by prehistoric prehistoric is nothing but period before written history what period before written history it is called as prehistoric okay now introduction history is the fascinating and true story of human growth from barbarism to civilization history is a record of people places and events of the past it tells us the story of our ancestors their lifestyle occupations customs religious beliefs social political systems and culture it also tells us about their problems and their achievements now tell me who is a historian yes you have guessed it correctly historians are people who study and tell us about the past they gather many information from many sources and help us to understand how people lived and worked from the earliest time to the present day origin of the earth and geological ages 
the true story of our planet and its first human inhabitants continue to puzzle scientists even today. The evolution of humans from apes to the present form started about 1500 million years ago. Uh, can you say the meaning for geology? Yeah, it is study of earth, soil, rock, etc. Next, can you say the meaning for paleontrophology? P A L A E O N T H R O P O L O G Y. The study of human ancestors and their evolution by the study of the fossil remains. It is called as paleontrophology. Again, I am repeating the study of human ancestors and their evolution by the study of the fossil remains. The person one who study about human ancestors, they were called as paleontrophologist. Okay, next. Uh, what do you mean by paleontology? P-A-L-A-E-O-N-T-O-L-O-G-Y. It is nothing about, it is nothing. It is just the study of fossils. Okay, fossil remains of prehistoric plant and animal in the form of rock. It is called as fossil. Remains of prehistoric plant and animal in the form of rock is called as fossil. This happens because of some kind of chemical and physical process. Next is archaeology. You might have learned right from 6th standard. Archaeology is nothing but excavation of the soil. It is called as archaeology. Archaeology is the study of human past through analysis, analytical of material remains. Is it clear? Next, the earth contains geological, archaeological and biological records of historical times. It is very important for constructing the history of the earth. The fossil bones of the human ancestors are embedded in the earth's layer. Paleontrophologist and archaeologist excavate the soil and rock layers on the earth and extract evidence about human ancestors. Through the gathered evidence, they attempt to understand the evolution of human history and developments in a chronological order. The earth was formed 4.54 billion years ago. Gradually, conditions emerged for the growth of organisms. Plants and animals came into being, then humans evolved. The age of speculation. Humans are the only species on earth concerned with understanding as well as explaining the world and universe. They were very curious, began to think and ask questions about nature, organisms and world around them. They worship nature. The beginning of history, writing can be traced to the ancient Greeks. Herodotus, he is considered as the father of history because the history he wrote was humanistic and rationalistic. What do you mean by humanistic children? It is concerned with human rather than divine matters. He tried to promote human welfare. Welfare of human beings is concentrated more. It is called as humanistic. It is nothing but it is concerned with human rather than divine matters. Next is rationalistic. Rationalistic is based on reasoning. Rejecting what is unreasonable. Okay. Life in prehistoric times. In the earliest stages 
of physical development, humans, they were called as hominids. They walked on all fours. Slowly, they walk up right. This erect posture of humans called as Homo erectus. H-O-M-O-E-R-E-C-T-U-S. Help them to see farther in all directions. And also allow them to freely use both their hands. The increased eye and hand activities resulted in larger and more developed brains. This physical feature distinguished them from the other animals and made them the fittest of all animals in the jungle. They lived in caves, natural shelters such as trees and grooves. Grooves, it is nothing but a small wood or group of trees is called as grooves. G-R-O-V-E-S. They ate berries, roots, fruits, insects, worms and flesh of animals that they killed. They had no weapons and used their bare hands to kill. Their bodies were covered with thick hair. The modern humans, they were called as Homo sapiens, finally appeared about 40,000 years ago. They had mastered the art of making tools. Who? The early humans. Okay. Early humans used stone on a large scale. So this period is known as Stone Age. Early humans used stone on a large scale. So this period is known as Stone Age. Stone Age can be further divided into four categories. Paleolithic Age. Paleolithic is otherwise to be called as Old Stone Age. Mesolithic Age. It is otherwise to be called as Middle Stone Age. Neolithic age, it is otherwise to be called as New Stone Age. Calcolithic age or Copper Stone Age. Lithic means stone. Okay. Human ancestors are divided into various species according to their physical features. Hominid refers to all the species of the modern and extinct great apes. Hominids, a zoological tribe. Homo sapiens, Homo neanderthalensis, Homo erectus, Homo habilis and various species of Australopithecines uh, belong to zoological tribe. Homo habilis were the earliest known human ancestors to make tools in Africa. Anatomically, modern humans called Homo sapiens first appeared around 3 lakh years ago in Africa. It is believed that these modern humans, that is Homo sapiens, eventually migrated from Africa and dispersed into various parts of the world from around 60,000 years ago. Modern human beings appeared in Africa. Can you able to see in the map, children? Begin to migrate outside of Africa. Uh, and can be reached to the fullest world. This is called as migration from Africa. They are migrated to other parts of the world. This is the uh, map which shows where they have established caves and they settled down. Paleolithic age. It is otherwise to be called as Old Stone Age. The first stage of human civilization is known as Old Stone Age or Paleolithic Age. 
Here they made crude stone tools. Large pieces of stones were shaped into hammers, scrappers and axe heads. These were used for cutting trees, killing and skinning animals, chopping meat and digging up roots, piercing and digging the soil. The hand axe tools were known as Aculean tools. A C H E U L I A N Aculean. This kind of tools were recognized at a place called Saint Acule. A C H E U L Saint Acule is a place in France. Hence, they are called as Aculean tools. Bifaces, another type of tools that have flaking on both the sides. By, B-I, by, it means two. Faces, F-A-C-E-S. Faces, it means sign. Okay. It has flaking on both the sides. Core and flake are another type of stones used by the early man. How did people live in Paleolithic age? Uh, they lived in caves. This picture shows you how they were doing their activities. Many activities were carried out in the open air during daytime. The first human beings, okay. Uh, their food, they were hunters and food gatherers, okay. Not aware of growing crops. They ate fruits, roots, nuts, eggs of birds and raw flesh. Early humans did not build any houses. They took refuge in caves or trees. Caves protected them from the elements of nature and bad weather condition. They were organized into small tribes made up of members of the same family. They did not wear clothes. They used bark of trees, leaves and animal skins. It protected them from cold and rain. Later, they stitched animal skins with bone needles. Cave painting Primitive humans were skillful artist children. They painted beautiful pictures of animals and hunting scenes on cave walls. They engraved all these pictures by using ivory, horns and flat bones. Discovery of fire. Fire was discovered about half a million years ago. It was an extremely important discovery. It was the greatest achievement of early humans. Early human beings used fire to heat their caves, cook food and drive wild animals away. Initially, humans used naturally cast fire. For example, bush or forest fires or lighting. Later, they found that two dry stones rubbed together produce sparks of fire. They learned to roast meat, keep themselves warm and frighten animals by keeping a fire burning at the entrance of their caves. Our ancestors believed in supernatural forces which helped them in hunting or when giving birth. They also thought these divinities caused disease and death. That is why they had different rights to ask these divinities for help. They buried the dead body. They also buried the dead body with weapons, jewelry and food. About 35 years, 35,000 years ago, human beings started decorating caves with paintings. This type of art is called as cave art. They painted natural sceneries, 
as well as pictures of animals. Animals such as deer, bison, horses and mammoths were often represented in their paintings. These paintings were very realistic children. The relief surface of the cave was used to give them volume. Several colors were used. Minerals were mixed with egg white to make the colors. Animal hair was used to make brushes. These were the tools used by the Paleolithic people like hand axe, scrapper, chopper, grinder, hammer, arrowheads, flakes and barons. As I told you already, they were hunters and food gatherers. They covered their body with leaves and skins. Tree barks and vegetables, fruits and raw flesh were taken as food. Next, we move to the Middle Age, period during which early human began to control fire and develop language. It is called as Middle Stone Age or Mesolithic Age. It was a transition period, children, leading to the next distinctive phase of evolution. The main features were advanced stone tools. Tools were called microliths. It is called lithic technology because they made very sharp tools and all the tools were little smaller in size. Besides stone, animal bones, horns were also used to make scrappers, hooks, borers, hammers and arrowheads. Hunting became extensive in the Mesolithic age. As a result, many animals became extinct. Mammoth is an example for such a species. Man discovered new sources of food in this period. They ate edible grass, dolphin, otter, whale, fishes and so on. Their occupation. They were also hunters and gatherers. They learnt growing crops and cultivation. People were called as Neanderthals. N-E-A-N-D-R-A-T-H-A-L-S Buried the dead bodies systematically. They were the first human ancestors to bury the dead and mourn dead properly. These were the tools of the Mesolithic age. Bones and ivory were used, blades were used, core were used, knives, chisels, triangle, barren, dagger, points were used during Mesolithic period. Uh, this here is a difference between Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age. Paleolithic is nothing but Old Stone Age. Mesolithic is Middle Stone Age. Okay. Uh, they were very rough, the tools were very big and crude and unpolished, whereas Mesolithic tools were polished and microliths. As I told you already, they were hunters and gatherers. Small animals were hunted, wild roots, honey were collected and taken as food and they had domestication of animals also. They sewed skin cloth. And they dwelled in branches of trees and in caves. And they were very good at painting over the caves. And they invented needles and burial system was very, very systematic. They buried all the grave goods. Grave goods is nothing but whatever the objects which were used by the dead person were buried along with that person. Okay. Uh, then uh, pottery was made, paintings were done and they had dancing and singing as they are uh, as they are enjoying time and they made many baskets also. They decorated their huts and they started sowing seeds.
it was a period of climatic instability also children during the mesolithic period humans learned to hunt in groups and to do fish and began to learn how to domesticate animals as well as plants some of the burials included grave goods as i told you already the meaning for grave goods okay the objects which were used by the dead person it is called as grave goods here you can see all these were the burial sites uh, along with the grave goods they also buried the tools which were used by them the jewelries the shells and animals and human figurines goods that archaeologists suggest are evidence of the emergence of social stratification